I didn't want to make this a two-part video, but I felt I had to because we were over 30 minutes of total footage. So thanks for coming back to this video. If you are just now getting to this video, make sure you step back one video and watch that one for part one. So let's get back into the build. minutes later. <laughs> oh man, I forgot I had this tool. It made such quick work. I could have done a lot. I could have done the entire transition here with uh, a little heavier 
grit or sand paper on this uh, bell sander. But, uh, and I went ahead and, and smoothed out the whole neck. It's almost perfect. I think I want to work a little more on, on, uh, on the heel part here and the transition, but I can do that off camera. Um, so check this out. I'm going to go ahead and, and hit it with some denatured alcohol and uh, it's going to pop the grain and we're going to get a hint of what this baby's going to look like with a coat of whatever I put on there. I haven't decided yet, but uh, this is basically what it's going to look like. This is actually the third evening of working on the back of this neck and I've probably got about three or four hours into it and I'm really satisfied with, with what we've got. So what we've got here is the, uh, the back of the neck contour or profile. It's uh, very much a D shape. So if you picture the letter, capital letter D, um, whereas this is how you're looking at it and the curve of the D is, is the back of the neck and the flat of the D is, is the fretboard, that's what you have. Um, and you're going to have that because this is a wide neck for a five string bass. Uh, I've, got, uh, I've got the contour into the heel of the, of the neck right where I want it. It's got a few tooling marks. I do just need to do a little bit more sanding. But to illustrate what I'm talking about, this, if this is the uh, guitar body um, and you're looking at it from the back side, and the guitar is upside down, this is what you have. Next thing I need to focus on is the volute. Now the volute is a decorative part of the back of a guitar neck. Historically, uh, it's supposed to be functional giving the back of the neck where it bends back like this more, more strength. Um, but this is primarily decorative on this one. So I need to look at how I'm going to shape that and it's going to be quite a bit more material removal. This is what I'm talking about with the volute, this, this little triangle piece that points up into the neck. Now this is all, keep in mind this is all one solid piece of wood uh, with the top of the head. In theory, the volute is supposed to give more strength and rigidity to the headstock in this transition between uh, where the where the neck stops and it gets thin here at the uh, at the headstock So what we're going to do is we're going to shape this into sort of a diamond uh, And bring it into the into the uh, transition of the headstock So we're going to have to shave all this down so we have a nice diagonal on each side of this point and it has to flow into the existing wood of the headstock. Now where I am undecided yet is what I'm going to do with all this extra material that sticks up so much higher than this part of the headstock. Right now we've got this is the, the, minimum, uh, the minimum thickness of the whole guitar neck behind the second fret. I do kind of like how it swoops back up kind of rapidly behind the first fret and the nut, but uh, I'm not sure we're going to be able to keep that while we remove all of this extra material on the side. So I guess let's get into it.
Okay, I think we're gonna call it good for right now. Fact is, I could probably be sanding on this for three more hours and not be completely satisfied with where I'm at. But we are good for now. Uh, we'll probably be, be sanding on it again after we get the body completed and uh, assembled. That's for next week. We're going to finish this up with, uh, well, not finish it up, sorry. We got a lot more work to do on it, but we're going to get the, we're going to get the body constructed and assembled on this. And it's going to be looking like a bass guitar by the end of next video. So I hope you come back and watch me for that. And if you're with me still at this point in the video, thank you so much. It means a lot to me personally that you are, that you're still watching. And it means a lot to the channel because YouTube is watching how long people are staying engaged in the programming. So I hope to see you again next week. And until then, Here's some man glitter for you.